Hello everyone, it's your girl Brittany here and welcome to Brit Positive Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone's having a wonderful week. To keep up with us here, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and you can listen to us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and Anchor. Now, if you're listening to us on YouTube, then click that subscribe button and notification bell as well to get notified to see when we have posted. And if you are listening to us on Spotify, Apple, or Anchor, you can click that follow button to join the Brit Positive Fam Bam and download this podcast so you can listen to it on the go. All the links are down below so you can join in spreading the positivity with us. Also, check out our merch store. We have some merch, and we're definitely going to be having some new merch coming in. So guys, stay tuned for that. Now for our Brit Positive quote of the day. Be kind. Be patient. Be generous. Be accepting. Be all of these things to yourself. That is where it begins. I thought it was a good segue to get into our topic of the day, which is self-love. So this was something that was kind of on my mind lately of just like how many of us really take the time to show ourselves some love, okay? Um, I want to start off with this question and, you know, take your time with it because it's it can be one that maybe you have the answer to right away or... Something you're like, I didn't think I didn't, you know, but it makes you think. So the question is, do you love yourself? Like really love yourself where you would be friends with yourself. Okay, like like if you could clone yourself to be friends with yourself, would you do it? Because that's how much you appreciate yourself. So I thought of this really it's such an interesting question that some people may have an issue in in really answering it because it's like you don't want to sound vain like of course I love myself but then at the same time you don't want to be like why wouldn't I love myself I mean I'm alive I'm here aren't I like you know there's the there's all these different things that come with that but really just sit down and be like do you love yourself do you take enough time to show yourself that you know, it's one thing to say to anyone that you love them, but it's always when we look at it, we're always looking at what they do to show us that they do. You know, what are the actions behind it that shows us, the individual, that they love us? And it's the same way I wanted to flip it and be like, what do we do for ourselves to show that we love ourselves? We might say, yeah, I love myself, but yet we're running ourselves to the ground. We're working so much. We're putting everybody's needs above b- before ours. And it's like, Next thing you know, you are you feel so burnt and burnt out and just like down to the ground where you're like, I can't even lift up a finger. And, and it's like, where's the love for yourself and that you are making sure you make the time for you? You know, that that's love right there. And I just wanted to get into just explaining and talking a bit with you guys about self-love and then, of course, go into some suggestions on how to even start that journey or even little things to do to actually show yourself you love yourself if you're if you're kind of having trouble of like okay well what do I do like how do I how is that supposed to work you know so let's get into it and so for one like with with self-love you know I truly believe in order to love others and be a vessel to to being the good and the light and the positive in the world you have to show yourself that first When you think of it, some people who may treat you wrongly, do you really look at them and say they love themselves or they're happy? Do you go like, wow, they're so mean to me or they're so rude or negative. They must really love themselves. (laughs) Most of the time, those are people who are actually struggling with some really dark stuff, depressing stuff, negative stuff about themselves that what they do is just lash out on others, you know? You know the whole saying, hurt people hurt people your misery loves company those kind of sayings this goes along with that just that when you see people projecting negativity out there to people in the world it's because they're negative within themselves and this is why I wanted to make you know this podcast really about really just taking that time to really love yourself because that's the only way you're going to spread positivity that's the only way you're going to be able to be the best out there in the world is when you take care of yourself as well so here are some suggestions you guys can try to show yourself some appreciation and some love okay so the first one is live your life intentionally live your life intentionally be intentional with your actions you know intentionally be kind to people intentionally help people intentionally 
you know, do things to help you, you know, because you're a human too. As much as we're helping others, we got to help ourselves sometimes. Sometimes we can be our own best doctor, best therapist, best lawyer, you name it. But of course, it all takes time. And it's also that thing you have to do in, in taking time with yourself and discovering who you are and, and just know the person you may be a month ago may not be the same person you are now. You know, you're always changing. You know, life is always changing. Different seasons comes with different things and it's it's molding you. It's making you into something. And you need to just get into that place of being able to notice it, to see where you were last season and where you going this season. So always take that time to like look within yourself to say, who do you want to be? I would also like to suggest to you guys, it's like, you know, take the time to sit down and write like the good and the bad. Okay, the good that you like about yourself and maybe not even call it the bad, but call it like your weaknesses, right? And even look at those weaknesses and say, you know what, I can change this. And I and I truly believe that. This is what I'm saying. You can change certain behaviors. You just have to work on it, you know? And that when some people even try to use it against you to be like, oh, well, you're so negative. And you can be like, yeah, I was. Or yeah, I get, I can be, but you know something, I'm working on it. That's like for me, like one of my things that I like to work on is like me trying to be patient. That's one of the weaknesses I don't like. I can be a bit impatient, but instead of it being a negative thing that makes me feel bad about myself, what makes me feel good and love myself is like I'm working on it. And I know one day I'll I'll get there. I'll get there to be be very patient with myself and others. And even me taking that time to say, you know what, I'll get there. You know, me practicing patience, knowing like. It may not happen tomorrow or the second, but it'll happen. And that's the best part of it. It's the thing that's the end goal at the end of the day that you hope to achieve, which you will as long as you keep at it and and stay positive about it. The next one is treat yourself to something special each week. Whether it's clothes, books, or dessert, or a movie, or a game, do it. Whatever makes you happy in that moment, do it. You're there making time for everything, whether it's school, work, your spouse, friends, siblings, your family. You're doing all that like you're breathing. It's like natural for you, you know? You're doing it all the time that sometimes I think it's hard for us to make time for ourselves because we're always on the go. So it's really good if you guys take the time during the week and do something special, like getting yourself a treat. My thing that I would do, I like getting, I like finding new books. Or, you know, finding new music to listen to. Sometimes I even like to watch some movies once a week, like new movies that are out and things like that. So, or hanging out with friends. I do something special just to be around good energy. So really keep that in mind. The next one is meditate or pray daily. This helps you get connected with yourself every day and to look at the blessings that are surrounding you. When praying, you're building hope inside of you as well. So I would suggest that this is something that you guys can do as well to show yourself self-love. For me, I definitely like praying. It just makes me really look at the good that's around me, whether it's in my home or outside of my home. And that also shows me I am loved, you know, Um, and that brings out love of saying like to yourself that you are special. You are someone that, you know, needs to be here. You're alive for a reason. That in itself is bringing love to yourself by just like you know putting affirmations of like how important you are because as long as you have you know breath in your lungs like you you're here you're here for a reason and that's a beautiful thing and that's a thing that should be celebrated each and every day like hey I still have something worth living for so let's let's go let's do this and you'll go about your day with more of a different outlook on life instead of, you know, being a bit negative about it. And also you, you'll you be able to just be able to be kinder to people because you're st- you're looking at life through a different lens. You're not looking at it as everyone else is looking at it because, you know, you're coming from a place of self-love that you're able to see the good in your day. And you can also see the good for others as well because you're taking that time to get in touch in your in your heart and for you know those who are praying get in touch with God and he will reveal things to you of like all the wonderful things that are around you and in you and that in itself will also bring out the self-love as well so you guys can, should definitely try that also when it comes to praying you guys can do it anywhere it doesn't have to be somewhere super quiet like you know your room or anything you can pray while you're cooking in the kitchen you can pray while you're driving 
to whatever destination you're driving to. You can pray while you're working out. You can pray while you're, you know, at work, at your desk, typing some things. You can just be praying within yourself. Take that time every day to pray and or, you know, meditate and just make sure you make that time because it's so healthy for you, you know, mentally and spiritually. The next one is write down every day what you're grateful for. So I don't know if most of you guys heard this already, but yes, I'm a big advocate about writing things down and it's really good to take that time in your day, especially in the morning, to start off your day with positivity and self-love. You know, write down what you're grateful for in that day. It can be three things, two things. I would suggest make a longer list though. <laughs> and also I would like to add, write things that you love about yourself. You know, that's a that's like a little love letter to yourself to say, you know what? I hope you have a good day and shine bright, be a light and have a wonderful day. Like sometimes you got to talk to yourself in that sense. And if you don't want to do it in the mirror where you're like talking to yourself like that, you can always write it down. Write a little cute note to yourself and just be like, you have a good day. You rock. Let's get this. Let's do this. You know, so, you know, have those things, little encouragers for yourself because you deserve it. You're a great person. You're a special person, too. And. You know, as much as you're making everybody happy, you got to make yourself happy. And if it's just a little encouragement, things to write down on, on a piece of paper every day, just something for you and you alone, that is also showing yourself some self-love. So definitely try that. The next one is eat the right foods for your body. So I like to give the example like, you know, when you take a car to a shop and they're checking everything out, the engine, the brakes, make sure the oils change and things like that. That's all so that the car can run properly, can get you to your destination, right? Even when, you know, you're taking your car to the gas station, is it because it needs gas? Why it needs, you know, wherever you're driving it to, it needs that that gas pump in there, right? Well, look at it like that for your body as, and you know, for your soul as well. Your body's like a machine, you know? It needs certain things to keep running. In order for you to do a good job at work or a good job at school or be a good friend or be a good child to your parents or be a, you know, a good spouse, you know, whatever relationship you're in and people you interact with every day, you need to do things like even eating healthy foods to to help you function properly, to help you be able to be better out there to help and be the best thing out there that this world needs, you know? So I'm a big advocate in that you definitely need to eat spiritually and physically. Now, spiritually, it's like to always bring in good things to help uplift you and warp you into the the ideal you, the, the one that you're meant to be, you know, the one that you're working to get to. That is like by listening to and sermons, if you want to listen to sermons, reading the Bible, or, you know, books, books that teaches you or encourage you on like things like how to be positive or how to get rid of jealousy or, you know, get gaining patience, things to help you grow as a person. Look for those like self-help books out there. They're out there. There's many of them out there. And it's all into just help building you into the ideal person that you want to be and the ideal person you know in your heart that you can be. But of course, it takes a lot of those foods to get in you. Then you have the physical foods where you need to t eat your vegetables and, you know, the right amount of carbs, not too much carbs, things like that. And, you know, seeing your doctor, making sure your body's healthy, things like that. All of this is to also show you self-love and that you're giving your body what it needs and it's not suffering or lacking anything it, you know, wants because you're taking control and making sure it's getting all that it needs to get, you know? So I find it very important that you just need to make it a thing, you know, something that you remind yourself every day that you need to give what your body needs in order for it to do what it needs to do, in order for it to run if it needs to run, in order for it to focus if it needs to focus. If you're studying and stuff, you can't be eating so much junk food and your food is lacking vegetables when it needs that to kind of help with its brain development and all those things and drinking milk and, you know, getting some calcium and all those things. Your body needs things to help function as well just like a car and I think with the physical and spiritual once you have those two things inside you'll be a force to reckon with like no one can stand in your way because you're taking the time to also love your body enough to give it what it needs to be able to do what it needs to do so keep that in mind okay
The next one is take time to pamper yourself. I think it's the best thing you can do for yourself is do something that makes you feel good and look good, okay? Because it's just one of those things to just elevate you to a whole nother level of love for yourself and that you're showing yourself appreciation. You're not only feeding your body good things, but you're also making your body look good for yourself so that when you see yourself in that mirror, you're like, oh, well, hello there. You know, it's such a good feeling. It's such a good thing. Whether you want to pamper yourself with some new clothes, shoes, or, you know, going to the spa, getting a massage, things like that. It, it's it's all in love, all in love and nothing's wrong with it and taking that time for you into pampering yourself. So definitely take the time to pamper yourself when you can. But mostly if you don't find the time, you better make that time because it's such a necessary thing for you as an individual to to show yourself love like that too so that's another way too to really just get what you need to take time if it's even a nice bubble bath or you know if you want to get a pedicure manicure a facial whatever it is do it so you feel good because it's all in making you be better and to be better for others out there too i'd like to end with this Remember, you guys don't have anything to give what you don't have. So you won't be able to be positive if you're not positive. You won't be able to share love if you're not loving yourself. So it's really important for anyone out there, even those who are single, you might be like, I want to be in a relationship. I want to get out there and start dating and things like that. Fine. But also ask yourself if you really love yourself. Have you taken the time to love yourself and showing yourself that you love yourself? Once you kind of get that, you know, going, then of course you can look into a relationship because then at least that's the first step is to knowing like the way you treat yourself, you can be definitely be treating others that way. And that's another way of spreading positivity around the world, you guys, is by loving yourself first so you can love others. It brings understanding, it brings compassion, it brings patience, it brings all that with, uh, you know, to others when you do it for yourself. So it's such an important thing to really take that time and do that. So that's something you guys can try to be able to do for yourself is just remember that all these things in treating yourself with love and patience and kindness and doing things like feeding yourself good food and spiritual food, things to help you grow and mold into the person you're meant to be. All of this is so that you can give that as well to others and and live life joyfully. So I hope these tips help. And, you know, this has been fun. I really enjoy talking to you guys. And I hope you guys felt love here because it's all about positivity and love on the show. And speaking of showing some love, we're going to have our Brit Positive Fan Bam shout out, which goes to Let's Chit Chat Sis. You guys can check out their Instagram. They're all about positivity and they've been showing such, you know, encouragement on here on the show. So thank you guys so much. Your positivity and support doesn't go unnoticed and we like to send it all back with much more love. Thank you, guys. And if you want a shout out on the show, all you got to do is follow, subscribe and check out our podcast and check out our Instagram and you can get a shout out here on the show. So you got to just do that and I'll shout you out. (laughs) And with that said, thank you guys so much for listening to the podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. And you can also check out my new vlog. I posted my first vlog, you guys. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) I posted my first vlog. It's on YouTube and it's called Get to Know Me. So you guys can check it out. And, you know, if you guys like it some more, show some love there and I might come back with another video, you know, if you guys are up for it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys again for listening. Sending you guys such love and positivity right now. And I wish you guys a wonderful week and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.